There is one question the cult of Scientology will never answer any journalist, ever. How much money did the cult siphon off Lisa Marie promising of the sun, moon, and stars? A girl who died addicted to drugs. 40 years in Scientology. At 11 years old, she was dropped off at Celebrity Center by her mother, who said, handle her. And I was her counselor or auditor. We used to sit there for a couple of hours a day for several weeks. It was very painful. I don't know why, I, I just don't know why I did it. This was an 11 year old who did not want to be indoctrinated who did not want to be dominated into what she had to do. And at the tender age of, is it 54? She's dead. She's dead after the cult promised her that she would be free of drugs, that she would be healthy. Well, this is what Scientology pitches. And I want to show the con of Scientology, the con. The reason they pitch and extort gobs of money out of you is promising you better health, better ethics, better morals, better spiritual awareness. And Lisa, who gave millions, I can safely, if Scientology wants to contest my statement, let them produce all the invoices of money that Lisa gave to the cult. Now, I will end off with a quote from the Sun newspaper in the United Kingdom. They did a four page spread today about her mentioning Scientology a few times. Now, this is the hard copy printed version, not the digital version. So if you're in England, go to the stand and get a copy. For example, this is the quote from the son. The millions inherited from her father were frittered away due to bad business decisions. Who knows what kind of business manager she had. Costly drug rehab sessions and donations to the Church of Scientology. In 2014, Lisa Marie suddenly cut ties with Scientology, claiming Scientology was taking my soul, my money, my everything. That is a Lisa Marie quote. Think about that. The entity that completely had her for some 40 years and took millions of dollars, let her die drug addicted. Fly high, Marie, Lisa Marie, fly high.